Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about three different ways to share information on SharePoint. As the name implies, SharePoint is a place to share information, and everybody should be able to do that. It's supposed to be extremely simple. So let's start with the absolute simplest way. I've created a new team site here. It's right out of the box. And as you see, there, I have a news feed there. Um, there I can share information. Hello, everyone. Not very much information, really, just a greeting. But it, of course, you can put any kind of information in there that you want and just post that. So if you have users that have used Facebook or some other social media, they are able to technically post information on SharePoint. Of course, you can elaborate a bit on that and add photos. And this is, again, the same skill that we are using. I'm going to just do that and just browse a photo with the new logo, for example. And we can start a discussion about that logo. Here I'm uploading a picture, and there's the logo. Like that you can start a discussion. And of course, as with Facebook or something else, you can like, you can um, put replies in here, stuff like that. So that is a very, very easy way of sharing information on SharePoint. You can, of course, also put links in here. So if you want to just type in a link, like the website, like that. And if you just press enter there, you see you get the option of editing the URL and the display as. And you can show the display as as calmstrom.com. And then you just post that, and there you have a link. So those are the three basic types of interactions and sharing information that you can do in the newsfeed. You can add links, you can add text, and you can add images. And you can, of course, like and reply, and you can remove your comments, stuff like that, the, the basics. So that's the easiest way of sharing information on SharePoint. Another very popular way is, of course, to use documents. And many people use SharePoint as a document storage. As you see, you can, of course, upload files here. So this link here, documents, again, if you've ever uploaded it, is also repeated here. here to the left in documents. There you go into the SharePoint also. storage area called the, the document library. And there, of course, you can upload again. You can also drag and drop files in here, and you can create new files directly here. So if I want to create a new Word do document, that opens up in Word Online, and I can start typing my information in here. I can do random text, lorem ipsum text is always good to have when doing examples. And the first document is named document, but I can double click up here and just call it sample file, which is of course much better. Notice to share information or to share documents in SharePoint when you're creating them like this, you do not need to save. You can just go back and uh, clicking on the link there and that will take you to the document library. So oh, there's my sample file. So that's the second way of sharing information, uploading files or creating files directly in SharePoint. Third way to share information, there's of course lots more than three ways, but the third way that I want to show in this demo is how to simply put information directly into this page. You do that by clicking the edit button up there. If you don't see it, that means that you don't have the permissions to edit this page. But I'll just click on the edit now because I had and then I can just remove this block here and then start typing in information here. Hi, everyone again. And then you can, of course, answer text. You recognize all of these bits from uh, Word. It's the same basic uh, kind of tools that you have here. And then you can insert pictures, videos. You can even upload files directly here into the document. And you can add, add tables, basically do text formatting here. Once you save this, you get rid of the little error message there and just keep the text. So that's an easy way of sharing information in SharePoint also. So three ways, documents, newsfeed, and directly on the page. Those are three ways of sharing information in SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demonstration.